What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to create an add events page for our My Club app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add an add event thing to our app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along with our My Club app here. In the last video, we added this update venue thing. In this video, I want to add an I want to put the add event function into our app. Now, this is going to have a couple of challenges that we need to sort of address. We'll start to do that in this video. Uh, not least of all is the date thing here. It's a little wonky. These things are a little different than we've seen. And if you remember back to the beginning of this playlist, we added this in the admin section and it took care of all these things for us. It had a nice little date picker thing that we don't have here. But we'll add these things going forward. So, okay, so let's head over to our code here. And I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist for this series with all the other videos if you haven't seen them so far. Okay, so whenever we wanna add an event, we need a page with a form on it so we can add the event and creating a page or anything in Django is always a three-step process. We need a URL, we need a views.py view, and we need a template file itself. So let's go ahead and knock that out. I've opened my urls.py file in our My Club events directory here. And I'm gonna come down here to this add venue one. I'm just gonna kind of copy it since it's basically the same thing. And instead of add venue, let's add add event. And then for our views, let's go add event. And then let's name this thing add event. Make sure we have our comma at the end there. So, okay, go ahead and save that. That will work there. So next, let's come over to our templates and our events and let's click, right click and go new file. And let's go file, save as, and let's go add underscore event.html. And then we can open up our add venue. And I'm just gonna copy this whole thing and sort of paste it in here. And we can play around with this. Instead of this, we could go add event, something like that. And we're probably got, not gonna need all of this stuff. So we can get rid of that. Okay. So add event, we've got our base stuff, our nav bar and all that good stuff. Okay, so we can leave this like this for now. We'll tinker with this in a minute. Now we need a view. So let's head over here and I'm gonna come down here and look for our add venue. View, and I'm just going to copy it. This is going to be, it's going to be similar here. So let's come up here and paste this in. And instead of add venue, let's go add event. And we can come through here and instead of the venue form, we're going to want to use our event form, which we haven't created yet. We'll do that in just a second. And uh, let's see, coming through here, instead of redirecting to add venue, we want to redirect to add event. Okay, that looks good. And again, down here, instead of the venue form, we want the event form, which we'll create in just a second. That looks the same. And again, down here, add event. Okay, that looks good. So up here, we need to import that form, that event form that we haven't created yet. We will in just a second. So right here, we can just put a comma and go event form. Okay, so that looks good. So let's look at our forms.py file. And before we do that, let's create a quick link to the nav bar for this page. So let's head over to our templates, events, and nav bar. And let's come down here for events. And I'm just going to copy this guy. And I think right after events, we want an add event. And the URL will be add event because that's what we named it in our urls.py file right here, add-event. Okay, so that looks good, we can get rid of that. Okay, so we've got our view, but it's pointing to this event form and we don't have that yet, so we need to create that. So let's head over to our forms.py file and we can see here is our venue form, right? And we imported venue for that. Now we wanna import event, which if you remember, if we look at our models.py file, is this guy right here, right? We'll reference that. So heading back over to our forms.py file, let's just create another one of these. I'm gonna copy this whole thing, paste it in, but instead of venue 
form. Of course, we want this to be event form. Okay, now all of these names are gonna change based on the model. So if we come back to our model and look at our event model, we've got a name, event date, venue, manager, description, and attendees. So let's copy these over. So name, name, address, event date. The next one is venue. So if we come back over here instead of zip code, let's put venue. And then manager, now let's move this over. So instead of phone, we'll put manager and description. Instead of web, we'll put description. And look at that, they're the exact same number. So that's handy. So we can change email address to attendees. Okay, so we've got our list here. Now we need to also put this right here. So let's do that really quickly. This one is manager and then description. Bear with me here. And finally, attendees. We're gonna have to do this another time down here. So uh, again, event date, event date. Let me just copy from right here. Venue, venue, manager, manager, description, description, and attendees, attendees. Now these are all gonna change. Well, we've got one more here. So <laughs> venue name, this will be event name. Or a placeholder. Next is event date. So let's go event date. And then venue. Change this to venue. And then manager. Change this to manager. Almost done. Description. And this one is attendees. Okay. Let's go ahead and save this. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna have to fiddle with all of this stuff and you'll see why in just a second. Okay, so this looks good. The one last thing we need to do here is the model. We need to define this as our event model, not the uh, venue model. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Let's head back over here and I'm gonna break out of here and make sure this is running. So Python manage.py runs server and that looks good. Now we can head back over here and go back and we have this add event. And when we do, there's nothing listed here because we forgot to change that page, but at least the page works. So let's head over to our add event page and yep, we've got absolutely nothing there. So let me put another line break here and for good measures, let's put some more down here. So let's look through here. We've got, let's see, home, nav bar, search venues, show venues, update venue, add venue. All right, let's copy this add venue page. So we can grab all of this stuff got the form stuff. Let's just copy this and paste it inside of our add event page here. So your venue was submitted. Let's say your event was submitted successfully. And then down here, it looks like everything else should work the same. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the website, hit reload, and now we should get a horrible error. All right, so did not copy and paste successfully. So we are missing an end if. Yep, right there. Right there it is. Forgot to copy and paste that end if. Man. All right. So we just put that in there. Save this. Come back here. Now if we hit reload. All right. So we've got now event name. We can type that. Event date. Venue manager description attendees. Something has gone wrong here. This should be at the bottom. So let's go back here and look at this again really quickly. Go to our form. Uh, description attendees. Let's turn this around. Attendees. All right. And let's do the same thing here. I just like this better. Description. Okay, finally down here, same deal. Description. Change this, attendees, and description. Okay, save this, go ahead and come back here. It's a little thing, but it bugs me. All right, so now here's the problem. Let's create a test. Let's go test one. Event date, um, what kind of format do we need here? I don't know. Uh, let's just give it a try. 10, 12, 21. So that's what, October 12th, 2021. What venue? Well, I don't know. 
something, right? Who's the manager? Uh, who are the managers? I don't know. Let's just type in John Elder. Who's attending? I, I don't know. What's the description? This is a test. Okay. Now, if we click this here, we get, well, for one, it says email address. That's no good. So what's gone wrong there is I copied and pasted all the things. And this one is email input. So let's change this to text input. That's not going to change the fact that there's problems here, right? So if we click this, uh, we're going to have to reload this. All right, so attendees, I don't know, John Elder. Let's misspell it too. This is a test. Okay, so now if we submit this, boom, we get an inner valid date time problem. Well, we don't know what the valid date time should be. That's a problem. Next, uh, select a valid choice. Huh? Choice? What? I don't know. That's a problem. And again, here, select a valid choice. So we've got all kinds of problems going on here, and this is not cool. So what do we need to do? Well, first off, venue, if we go to, let's see, our venues page, we got a bunch of different venues to pick from. So we want to be able to pick from them in that form, right? Same thing with managers. There's a couple of different managers. If you remember back from our earlier video, I think we have admin and maybe John Elder also set up as a manager. Attendees, who's coming? Who could be coming? I don't know who the attendees could be. I can't just guess. We need a list. So let's start to fix these things. And if we head back over here, Let's start with the venue. We can come down here and instead of a text input, we can add a select because we want to select. And same thing here with manager. We want to be able to select. And for attendees, there can be many different attendees, right? We want to select multiple. So for that, we do select multiple. Let's come back here, go ahead and hit reload and see what we got. Okay, this is a little better. When we click on this, we get a drop down. We can pick from that. And when we click on this, oh, we only actually do have one admin. And for here, we can hold down the control button to pick multiple if we want. All right, so that's looking better. And we'll fix this a little bit more. For one, how do I know this is a drop down if I don't click on it? Well, you don't. But we can change that to a bootstrap drop down box. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So let's come down here. And these are our selects. But for our adders here, instead of form control, we just go form select. And same thing for this guy, form select, and not for this guy. So let's go ahead and save this, take a look at that, see what we got, hit reload. Okay, so now we get these little carrots on here, that helps a little bit, right? But if we leave this and come back, I still don't know what this is. There's no label because our placeholder is gone, right? That's a problem. So we might have to actually just put labels on these two. So we can do that. We've already got the label system kind of set up right here. So right here for venue, I want to put a label of venue. For the manager, I want to put a label of manager. For attendees, I want to put attendees. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Come back over here, hit reload. All right, so that's a little better. Great, it's not perfect, but it'll do for now. We'll spruce it up later. But now we could see, okay, we're picking a venue, we're picking a manager, we've got different attendees. What about this description? This is a, in, an input box. I want a, a whole box there, right? So to change that, we can come back over here. And instead of a text input, we can do a text area. And notice A and area is lowercase. Everything else, the second one is uppercase. The I and in input, the M and multiple. Not here. This is a lowercase a in area. I guess text area is one word in Django's mind. So let's head back over here, hit reload, and boom, now we get a whole box here. I like that much better. And you can resize it manual if you want, but okay. Notice here we've got the select multiple, so we can select. That's nice. Now, finally, we've got this event date, and this is a problem. And we're going to make a little date picker thing later on, but this video is getting a little bit long. So in this video, all I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest the event date format in the in the uh, label here. So so for event date, we want year, 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 year. So like 2021 uh, month. So MM and date for the time we can do HH for hours, MM for minutes and SS for seconds. So if we come back here, hit reload. So this isn't great, right? And we're going to address it later. But for now, this is the best we can we can do. So let's go test event. For the date we want 2021. 
let's see, let's go April 23rd. And at what time? Let's want, this is military time, which is also kind of not great. But let's say six o'clock at night, that would be 18 uh, zero, 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 zero. Okay, where do we want this? City Park, downtown Vegas nightclub. Let's go to City Park. Who's gonna be the manager and men? Who's attending? Uh, just Jane Elder. This is a test event. Let's go ahead and click this, submit. Your event was submitted successfully. We can come over here to our events, scroll down here. We see test event, City Park. Look, it's converted the date and the time. There's our 6 p.m., 18 o'clock, right? Uh, to April 23rd, 2021, makes it nice, so that worked. Uh, the website, that's done automatically. The manager, admin, this is a test event, and Jane Elder are, is the only attendee. So, okay, this is working. Again, it's not great. We're gonna spruce this up. We're gonna make this look a lot nicer later on. But for this video that is getting a little bit long, this is the best we're gonna do. Uh, but at least we've got something. We've got an ad events page. It, you know, kind of works as such, right? It's better than nothing. And like I said, we'll we'll make this look a little better later on. But for now, it it's functioning. And uh, yeah. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 up memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.